أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته enjoining of good and forbidding of the wrong this is Quran reflection number four in the Holy Quran Surah three ayat one hundred and ten you are the best nation produced for mankind you enjoin what is right and forbid what is wrong and believe in allah if only the people of the scriptures had believed it would have been better for them among them are believers but most of them are defined disobedient the enlightened commentary into the light of the holy quran has stated it is interesting that the reason of being the best nation for muslims is stated that the fulfillment of enjoining the right and forbidding the wrong and the belief in Allah. This shows that the improvement of human society without belief in Allah and not being accompanied with invitation to the truth and the struggle against corruption is impossible. The community. Serious problems created in our community from the lack of enjoining good and forbidding of evil. Silence and indifferences in the faces of sin is the reason for the normalization of sinning. Those who sin find courage. We become heavy-hearted. Satan finds contentment, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will be displeased with us. The Holy Prophet Sallallahu said, "Either you enjoin the good and forbid the wrong, or Allah will set against you the worst of you. Then the best of you shall pray to Allah, and it shall not be responded to. And as well, you see the disobedience to Allah. Those who do not do the enjoining of good and forbidding of evil." and those who have committed the sin and become even worse off. In Hadith, Imam Ali salam stated that enjoining the good and forbidding the evil is in the interest of the public. Imam Hussain salam was for the enjoining of good and forbidding the evil. We see in the time of Karbala and the time of Ashura that he had stated, I want to enjoin good and forbid evil. More hadith. Imam Ali salam said, Give sincere advice to your brother, whether it be good or bad. Also, he had stated, Do not give up enjoining right and forbidding wrong, lest the mischiefs gain position over you. And then when you pray, your invocations will not be granted to you. He also has stated, Blessed be the one who obeys an advisor who guides him and avoids a deviant person who misleads him. As well, Imam Ali alayhi salam said, He who opposes good advice will perish. Steps for our community. One, gestures. So making very light gestures. This could be when someone is doing something, uh, glance away, turn away from the person, maybe even a gesture of actually leaving the group of that person and the people that are, are doing something that's wrong. And number two, uh, verbal. So this is actually um, done, should be done privately, where the person is um, told that they had done something wrong and that it wasn't right to do. And this should be done in a very polite, kind uh, manner so that the person will listen and respond properly to you and in the best of tones it should be done in. Number three, reject in your heart. So if all these ones you try to do and you're left with the person still committing the, the sin and doing something that is wrong, then, um, then reject, rejecting it in the heart is the best that you can do. And then you are at least, you know, safe from having it enter your heart. And maybe even later on, if you don't reject it, you become part of such things. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Glory be to Allah who does not impose on a soul except what it can bear. And blessings and peace be on the Prophet Wasallam of mercy who was more merciful to the believers than they themselves were and on his generous immaculate
progeny. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. And this ends the reflection of the Quran ayat, surah number 3, ayat 110. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.